Hey, if you like bad intros and trivia, then you're in the right place. This is 5 Clue Trivia presented by Big Boy Dex. Whether you're on a road trip, stuck in traffic, working out on a treadmill, or bored at work, this trivia game will challenge your mind while passing the time. So let's get started. This is the 10th episode and part 3 of music trivia. In February of 2016, this song ranked number 6 on Billboard's list of top 50 love songs of all time. It was originally written and recorded by Dolly Parton as a farewell to her business partner. It was re-recorded in 1992 for the movie The Bodyguard, which was based on a suggestion by Kevin Costner. The artist who sang this song died on February 11th in 2012. And it includes the lyrics, I hope life treats you kind, and I hope you have all you've dreamed of, but above all this, I wish you love. Well, I'd say this is a good song suggestion from Kevin Costner as it turned into a classic for Whitney, but it's I Will Always Love You by Whitney Houston. This next song was released in 2008 from the album Kala. The artist added the sound effects of gunshots and a cash register to the song's chorus to symbolize stereotypes of immigrants. The song was featured on the Slumdog Millionaire soundtrack and the Pineapple Express theatrical trailer. The artist invited street kids she came across in South London to sing the song's chorus. And it includes the lyrics, No one on the corner has swagger like us. Hit me on my burner prepaid wireless. Let's see if those clues are enough for you to get this one. You might remember the song, but do you remember the title? It's Paper Planes by M.I.A. Okay, let's move on. This next song is by an Australian pop duo. It was originally released in Australia in 1996. But its success in the U.S. is largely a result of Rosie O'Donnell playing the song on several episodes of her talk show. The lead vocalist described the song as being about being in love with a male energy. The song has a very fast-paced tempo which made it easier for the vocalist to sing because he didn't have to hold his breath very long. And it includes the lyrics, Anytime I see your face, I just close my eyes and I am taken to a place where your crystal mind and magenta feelings take up shelter in the base of my spine, sweet like a chicka cherry cola. I'm not going to tell you how many takes it took for me to get those lyrics right. Do you remember the song, I Want You by Savage Garden? Well, I know you remember this next song, which is considered a feminist song against catcalling. It was released in 2000 and was the band's one and only hit. In that year, shortstop Alex Rodriguez used it as his walk-up song, and it soon became the Mariners' team anthem. It was featured in the Rugrats in Paris, the movie, and the movie Men in Black 2. It was ranked number three on a 2007 poll by Rolling Stone that identified the 20 most annoying songs. And lastly, it includes the lyrics, I see the dance people had a ball, cause she really wants to skip town, get back gruffy, back scruffy, get back you flea infested mongrel. Not much time to think about that one, cause if you can't get it by the lyrics, then you just don't know the song. It's Who Let the Dogs Out by the Baja Men. Okay, let's move on. This next song was released in 1980 on an English heavy metal vocalist debut album as a solo artist titled Blizzard of Oz. Atlanta Braves Hall of Fame third baseman Chipper Jones used it as his walk-up song. By September 2010, a ringtone version of this song had been downloaded 1.75 million times. A studio engineer can be heard saying, an egg, through an oscillator at the end of the song, and it includes the lyrics, crazy, but that's how it goes, millions of people live in as foes, maybe it's not too late to learn how to love and forget how to hate. I'm a Braves fan, so I'm probably biased, 
but it's got one of the coolest openings to any song I've ever heard. It's Crazy Train by Ozzy Osbourne. This next song was released on iTunes in 2011, and early versions were known as Unnamed and ID. The song samples Etta James's Something's Got a Hold on Me. The music video is actually inspired by the movie Office Space. And the song was made by a Swedish DJ that died April of 2018. It includes the lyrics, Oh, oh, sometimes I get a good feeling. Yeah, I get a feeling that I've never, never, never had before. No, no. This is another one that you've probably heard a million times, but do you remember the title? It's Levels by Avicii. Okay, let's go on. From the band's third studio album, Talking Is Hard, this next song was released in 2014. The theme of the song is encouraging people to let go of whatever it is that's bothering you and get into your body and out of your head. The music video is influenced by plot-driven music videos of the 80s and nerdy visuals of 90s TV. And the song spent 27 weeks at number one on Billboard's Hot Rock Songs. And it includes the lyrics, We were victims of the night, the chemical, physical, kryptonite, helpless to the bass and the fading light, oh, we were bound to get together, bound to get together. I know that those were some speedy clues, but this song was released not too long ago and should be pretty fresh in your memory. It's Shut Up and Dance by Walk the Moon. All right, moving right along, this next song was released in 2004 from the studio album that shares the name of the song. The artist's brother actually released his first single in 2001 titled Gotta Get Through This, which peaked at number one in the UK. The song was the most played song on US radio in 2006 and was certified double platinum. It was the theme song for the MTV series The Hills. And lastly, the lyrics include Staring at the blank page before you, open up the dirty window, let the sun illuminate the words that you could not find. Well, being that it was the most played song on the radio in 2006, you've probably heard this one before. It's Unwritten by Natasha Bedingfield. This next song was released in 1991 and is the opening track and lead single from the band's self-titled fifth album. The song was played at Yankee Stadium whenever closer Mariano Rivera would enter the game. The music video features a child dreaming that he's drowning, falling from the top of a building covered by snakes, and being chased by a truck. And during the 2003 invasion of Iraq, uncooperative prisoners were exposed to the song by American investigators for extended periods of time. It includes the lyrics, Exit light, enter night, take my hand, we're off to never never land. I guess we got a little bit of a baseball theme going on in this episode. But Yankee fans know it's Enter Sandman by Metallica. The final song for this episode was released in 2004 from the band's third studio album titled Elefunk. It won the 2005 Grammy for the best rap performance by a duo or group. The song's original title included the word retarded, but the song was reworked for commercial purposes. And it gained popularity as the theme song for the 2004 NBA playoffs on ABC. It begins with the lyrics, and the bass keeps running, running, and running, running, and running, running. Yeah, I would say changing the title worked out well for them. The song is Let's Get It Started by the Black Eyed Peas, and they even performed it at the Super Bowl. And that wraps up the trivia for this episode. How'd you do? Did you get them all correct? Were you best in the show? Look, even if you were a bad little pup, there's going to be plenty of other episodes, many different trivia categories, so be sure to give those a shot. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. And remember, it's the funny looking dogs with short little legs and big ears that roam Buckingham Palace. Don't let your shortcomings hold you back. Until next time, stay Corgan, my friends. <laughs>